that is, until 18 years later in Paris, when something goes very wrong. Despite all the safety measures, one of Concorde's tires explodes in fragments. Investigators dig deeper. They re-examine all the debris found on the runway and then make the most important discovery of the investigation. This 43 centimeter mystery strip of metal. When you match the 43 centimeter strip of metal to the damage on Concorde's tire, it's a perfect fit. Suddenly, the whole inquiry now depends on the source of this metal. Where did it come from? It takes five weeks of painstaking detective work, comparing it to the thousands of parts that make up aircraft. Then, a breakthrough. They discover the metal strip comes from the engine mounting of a DC-10. The flight log from Paris reveals a Continental Airlines DC-10 took off five minutes before Concorde. They track down the plane to Houston, Texas, and incredibly find the engine has a missing part. It's the metal strip fitted 16 days earlier during maintenance on the DC-10. When David Learmount first sees the photographs of the strip of metal, he's astonished. It had really rough edges, and this was not just rough edges because Concorde had run over it. It had been cut roughly. The edges were not straight, not even when it was made. The other thing is that it had holes drilled in it for putting screws or rivets through, and these were all over the place. Investigators now have a very strong theory about how the strip of metal contributed to the crash. 81 seconds before the crash, Concorde AF 4590 is traveling at 323 kilometers per hour down the runway. The tire hits the metal strip. The tire explodes and a massive four and a half kilogram chunk of rubber from the tire flies at high speed up into the wing. But Concorde's fuel tanks are in the wings. And the delta-shaped wing is not designed to withstand such an impact.